my life is a, a big journey because of desperation. I, I have this great desperation for, for wealth, fame, and crowd in my church. When I started my ministry, every other person I've met have always given me the same advice that genuinely I cannot make it. Something has to be involved. That desperation took me so far. There is no state that I didn't travel to. When I was papa talking about cemetery, I've slept in the cemetery for several nights just in quest of not just the cemetery they have to dig a fresh corpse out for me to sleep then in the morning i will go out in the night i will come back to be sleep in that same place for several nights you promise me you will not make noise of Please come now so that we can concentrate. You have not heard anything. Why are you making noise? Please be calm. Don't, sit, don't delay my time. Go ahead. Please go ahead. So, things was not working for me and things were still the same as it used to be. Members were not coming. Money was not coming. All my effort was fruitless. So, I have to still meet with pastors quest for i need help which led me into i met with a pastor friend and he said there is no way they can help me until i belong to their family i said what is your family he said i must be part of what he is doing what are you doing he said if you can trust me i said tell me anything what i can do you cannot even do it so tell me anything and i will do it he said he belongs to a black ass I said that one is a very little something. At the end of the day, I was initiated into Black Ass as a Black Ass member. He took me to where he belonged. I did everything required. I should get a human blood. I, I, I got it, the same thing. It wasn't working. Things were just as it was. Rather, it was getting, it was getting worse. So, still for the quest of power, I met with great men of God. There is no pastor in this state and outside this state that I have not come in contact with. I know what I'm saying now. I know the end of it is definitely they will come after me because there is none of their dirty job that I don't know. And I have not worked for them. And I have not done. The prophecies, the miracles... The planting, the stunting food, everything, most of the assignments were being done by me. Because they said, they, if I do it, they are going to help me. At the end of the day, nothing was working again. I was introduced to a great man of God, well known in Warrior, at the church, close to the DSC roundabout. Calm down now. Ah, when I never hear anything, they make noise. Calm down. Please go ahead. Free indeed. Can you relax? God bless you. Seize your mouth. If you open your mouth again, I will, I will say something you will not like. You have not heard anything. You are making noise. Go ahead. I was introduced to him and I had a meeting with him. The meeting was done inside the car. That was my first encounter with him. And he said, can you trust me? I said, what you can't even do, I can even do it. He said, really? I said, yes. He said, well, give me first assignment to carry out. He said, if I need somebody to go with me, I said, I don't, I don't need escort for my assignment. I do my work. I do my work alone. Because I don't trust anybody. He said, he said, okay, my first tax, there is a church that is against him and it's against the church. I said, okay. I've never been here before. 
it was this whole assignment that now brought me to free indeed. Can you relax? Please go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Before then, before the assignment, I was asked that before they can trust me, I must no, be they initiated. Can video. If they want to video that phone, let them video, leave them. Why are you leaving? This is an open. Uh, what are they hiding? Video, anything you want to video? Leave those corner. Witchcraft. Man. Go ahead, please. Go ahead. Be calm now, please. Go ahead. Please. Amen. Oh yeah, please silence. Go ahead. That must be initiated first. I said, no problem. What is the initiation all about? That people that they must help must belong to their family. What, said, is, okay. fa what is family? It's a fraternity. What is it fraternity? Is, it is, it's a society, a court. Okay. It is called the White Prophet Court. Go ahead. So I said, okay. And I was asked, what do I really need? I said, I need crowd. I need weight. I want to be known. I said, okay. But I must know that a blood must be involved. I said, no problem. Whatever it is, is a task that I can, I can show that. My initiation night, I was blindfolded to the venue of the initiation. I didn't know how I got there. I didn't really know the main place, but when I got to the place, it was not a house. It was a cemetery environment. I was initiated with human blood, and I was asked to eat flesh, a human flesh. I said, okay, if it will give me what I really need, good and fine. So they, they asked me if I've killed before. I said, I've not killed, but I can kill. He said, okay, no problem. An assignment will be given to me. Because of time, if I'm not making any mistake, I have killed more than seven. Go ahead, go ahead. I've killed more than seven for this same particular person. For this same particular person, preaching holiness. Prophet, tie head. Go ahead, sir. For this same particular person, the it was then I was really taught carefully about the prophecy's work. How I get my information. If a meeting is going on, I will be asked to enter the, the congregation to get information. And I get my information can never be ascertained by any person. I can get your information to even your blood group and to the last food you eat and even to the last person that even died in your family. Even to your, your, your birthday, everything about you. Without even talking to you, just where I'm sitting down, I get my tools. So I've been doing this for more than two years now. The miracles, everything you are seeing are stage miracles. We rent the wish yet, we rent the clutches. We have people we settle for all the stage work. This was what I've been doing for him and so many other pastors. I've also worked for Mercy Land. I've also worked. Hey, okay, don't call anybody names. Please, don't call any pastor name. Please, don't call any pastor name. We beg
We are not against any ministry. You are renouncing your courtesy and what you have done against free indeed and Pastor John Mark. Is that correct? Yeah. So go ahead. Remove any name. Go ahead. This has been my assignment. My first visit to free indeed. I was asked to come and get the the sun from the church. And the purpose of the sun was to scatter the church. Seems he wasn't doing what we are doing, then he's an enemy. And the only way we can get him is to destroy the church. So I came to the church that night. It was within 12, 1 a.m. I came to the church that night. I got the sun from the entrance of the church. Then I went to back of the church. Get some from back of the church with my left hand. Get to where they used to park us. Get some from that same particular place. And that is why people start leaving the church. Protocol sections start going out. Pastors start leaving. At the point, what we did was not working as effective as we needed. We wanted it. I came again. It was 12 in the night also. We are four in numbers. Like, we came here to pray, but it was an assignment. But unfortunately, we were asked to leave the place that, that very that night. That day, they were at the middle there, one night. Go ahead. We were asked to leave the place that night. I came again. On one occasion, in the service, I had to drop old coin inside the offering bus. Go ahead, go ahead. All, all what, we are doing... What is the purpose of the coin? The coin is to scatter the church. People will stop dropping money in the church. Go ahead. At the point, it wasn't working as... We really need, needed it to, to work. So I was given an assignment to come and assassinate pastor. Go ahead, you never hear anything now. Go ahead, go ahead. Before, before that assignment, I was worked on. All the, I have never made any mistake when it comes to shooting or cutting because I was worked on seriously. I do all my operation with my left hand. So when I came that very day, I was in church to the service closed. We traced Pastor to almost to his house. Go ahead. Cool down now. Go ahead. We were four in number inside the Lexus car. They just followed me. I was to do the, the, the main shooting. But unfortunately, trying to double cross him, another car entered us. And we couldn't carry out that assignment that very day. So we left. Before the next assignment, we programmed the lady to come for service and she went for counseling the purpose of the lady was during counseling with papa she would strip herself naked go ahead she would strip herself naked and our men were already on ground to blow it up which i was among that very day so the lady said she came out after a while. She said she waited, she waited, she waited, and she ran out of patience. Go ahead. But she couldn't carry out the assignment. So we left that very day. Program was done in Urubu College. I led the squad. The squad I have led trying to assassinate Papa was four squad on four different attempts. The ones I was involved in. 
And they, the other people, they have done more. Yeah, that it's, it, it's all attempt. All attempts are more than ten. But the one I know, I lead, is four attempt. The robocallage zone, the same thing happened. We are so very sure that it will be a success because of the crowd and the environment was an open environment. So we are so very sure that it will be a success. Along the line, almost the same thing still happened. That now increased my bitterness that I have never missed a job. Why is this particular one giving me issue? So I got angry. I came to the church one of the night with a substance in an ever water container. People were in church, but my presence was not noticed because of what I was carrying. I sat at this pillar. After a while, I pretended as if I was praying. I poured the substance on the floor. Now, the purpose of the substance was to weaken any strength that is working here. And so I... Please be calm now, because of time, please. Go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Was the wicked anything that is working here? So I left that night. After leaving, before I left, I buried something at where they used to park cars. Now, the purpose of that thing was anybody that drove to the church will not see any reasons of coming back to the church again. Go ahead, go ahead. Let's save the time. Go ahead. So, but all my effort was fruitless. Nothing, it didn't work. When I was initiated, I was asked for, I, they, they asked me what I really want. I said, wait. I said, wait. I need money. I need fame. So they said, the price is who I love most must go for it. I said, okay. I gave them the impression that I wasn't married. That, but I have a I have a daughter. So they said, okay, good and fine. Who do I love most? I said, the girl I was dating. They said, okay. The very night for the assignment, they brought something like a calabash with blood. I have to wash my hand inside. Who I love most is to appear inside the, the calabash. So I went, I washed my hand as instructed. Only for the face of the lady I was expecting to appear, it was the face of my father that appeared. Go ahead, go ahead, save the time. So I said, no, I can't use my father. That they should try other alternative. They should use this particular girl. So they said, no, okay, they will give me another chance. I should try again. So I went again, washed my hand again for the second time. Who I loved most was my senior daughter. The face of my senior daughter appeared. It became a serious issue. I said, okay, I needed time to really think if I should sacrifice any of them. These are the two people I love most. So I left that day. A few days later, I got a sign that they, they are trying to carry out the assignment without my knowledge. But they were having difficulty because they need my years to execute either my dad or my, my, my daughter. Before I got the news that my father that was abroad almost died. In fact, he died. So that was when I blew off. I said, there is no way my dad can go for it. Let's think of other alternatives. Any other alternative 
was I start doing different, different sacrifice, different, different kind of things, trying to see if any other thing will work, but all to no avail. I came out in public to not to just say it, but I came out in public to make the world know and to make everyone that knows me as the prophetic professor. What makes me the prophetic professor was the things I was doing. And I came out to declare to the world that I'm no longer a member of the white prophet court. I have found the Jesus and I want to be with the Jesus. So, what triggers my decision was all attempts to to assassinate pastor wasn't working. I came to the church to record miracles, thinking if I would see some of my workers in the place coming here to work. I didn't see anyone. Miracles, everything are real. This, this hatred that was in me towards the church, I don't know Papa, I have not had any dealings with him, I have not seen him, but with what I was told, I just hate him and I want him to, to, to die. So the first day I came to the church, it was not as if I came for service. My father said, if truly I love him, I must go to free indeed for prayer. I said, okay, if that will make you happy, I will go. I came that day around 6.30 to 7. Service had not even started. Very few persons. I sat at this very particular line. I was watching everything that was going on, trying to see if whatever is going on are programmed stuff. At the end of the service, Papa didn't prophesy. The miracles are real. I know my work. I know I arrange my 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 miracles for those prophets. Those yeah, pastors, for those prophets. Including your own. Yes, I know I used to arrange my workers. I know I used to arrange. Who can arrange a blood test? Who can arrange patient from the hospital? Who get the doctor's report? Everything. Who can arrange? I can fake a, a woman with big tummy as if she's pregnant, but it's fake. Tell us more about that. Even the prophecies they are doing, can I talk to you? So Yeah, the prophecies are fake. Now, how we used to get our details, in the, the prophecy aspect, we have two dimensions. We have details information. Now, the details is, is also called data. data. The data is somebody gets your information, collide, make friends with your kids, get your information, Sometimes they will trace you to the house, make friends around, gather your, your information. Then it's being used in service to prophesy. Then sometimes we get our information through form. You feel. You feel your form. You talk, you state your problems. They will not make use of it as prophecy. We worked on it. Edict, do addicting. That's called addicting. We do addicting, then we add to it. Then there's another dimension in prophecy. That one is the washing of eyes. But the implication of the washing of eyes is the implication of the washing of eyes is if you use that one for a very long time, before you get to your 50s, 60s, the person must go blind. Because the eyes you are to use in the future, you're already using it now. Then there's still a dwarf that comes to the church to give information. When you say, I hear this, it's, the person is not hearing anything. It is a dwarf that is talking. I hear this. It is a dwarf. And all these things were things I was deeply into working for pastors in and outside this state. So when I met 
with Papa that very day. I went to his office. I just wanted him to pray for me. I wasn't even ready to talk with him because this hatred was still in me. But at the end of the day, deliverance was carried out for me and I got to realize that I was in a very wrong track. I was in that track because every person I met was telling me the same thing, that there is no way you can do ministry without sharing blood, without burying things in the church, without arranging miracles, without faking testimonies. So I, every person I ran to as fathers, we are all telling me the as same thing. As fathers, that is even outside Delta State, yeah. Benin, yeah, Lagos, everywhere. Abuja, they are all telling me the same thing. So, and with the quest of my desperation, I just crossed my mind that this is what, I think this is a track. Every person is the same thing. Just like a man traveling in to a particular direction, every person is going that same direction. Nobody is showing you a different road. So when I came that day, I met with Papa. First, I had a conversation with Pastor Onos. Pastor Onos was telling me, holiness, 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 abstain out from sex, you must be faithful to your wife. Within me, I just laughed. I said, I've met people that are even bigger than you. Don't use this format for me. Come out straight, let's do business. Stop telling me, holiness, holiness, holiness. So when I got to the office, that very day, Papa was still saying the same thing. Holiness, holiness, abstinence, this. I just love, I said, Papa, please pray for me and I want to go. So the deliverance was done that very day. And I got to realize that I was in a very wrong path. But how will I be able to come out from this path? After the deliverance that day, Papa kept calling me showing me love, sending me money. I was like, ah, I have never received 1,000 euros from any father except an assignment must be done. What, what kind of assignment? Planting? Explain that. Yeah. Hold on now. Please save the time. Go ahead. I have never received any money from any fathers except an assignment is done. I do planting. Like when they will give you a prophecy that there is tortoise in your house. There is sham. There is native pot in your house. We have two patterns of doing it. We have the one that I can come to the house. Even you be inside the house, you will not know that I'm in your house. I will come and drop whatsoever I want to drop. If it is, if it is your car we want to take, I can come to your compound. Even if you are standing... Okay. Put them at the corner there. Go ahead. Even if you are standing close to the car, even if you are standing close to the car, I can come there, put anything I want to put, if it is snake, pussy cat, anything. This was tortoise, anything. Tortoise, anything. This was I I used to do it. Then the other dimension in this planting is what we call invocation. That is where we enter your house, tell you that there is a native pot that is boiling with fire inside your house and the house is ties what i do is i prepare the thing myself most of the things i swallow it in me then if the prophecy has been given and they want to remove that particular thing that we said is inside your house what i do is to eat my stomach three times but before then i must take like one full bottle of lord drink because it works with the drink so I eat my stomach three times. Then that, as they are breaking the ground, that particular thing we want to come out from that place will come out. So this was what I was doing. So when Papa started showing me love, and I discovered that this is not the way I see this man to be. He said he's bad, but he has shown me light and he has shown me love. I didn't do planting. I didn't do stage miracle for him. I didn't get data for him. How come he's showing me this love? And I make up my mind, and no matter the consequences that may come out from 
this my renunciation. I make up my mind that I'm no longer, and I've renounced myself from being a member of the white prophet court. I've been a member of the black ass. Congratulations. What of the boy that was said to be using friended name? You talk about one day you called me, and the one you sent to come to steal phone one all night that they were beating. Yes, those were our programs just to scatter the church. The boy that, that stole phone, there was one all night that was going on in church. After the all night at the police post, it was a program something just to scatter the church and to dent the the image of the church. But fortunately, the team blew off and we couldn't manage the, the, the scene that very day. Then the other boy that was using the church name was all was our tools. We are just what we program to be doing, just to scatter the church. Remember one workers on night when one boy was called out? Then there was a time you also said uh, during the court that you put blood at the back of this pillar. Yes. I was the one that came to do that. What did you put? It was a human blood at the pillar, that extreme. Yeah, yeah. yeah. just we are just to scatter the church. Now, some of these things that are here, what are they? Actually, I want to I want to explain them. Yes. Don't worry, I'm here with you. What are they? Now, this is, this is a pot. Now, this pot must not touch the earth. I kept this pot under my office and inside this bucket with steel with this rubber under because it must not touch the ground. Now, inside this pot, there are two handkerchiefs. This handkerchief is if I want to prophesy and I don't want to use data, I'm to use this handkerchief to clean my face. No matter how dirty this handkerchief, you must not wash it because of what has been done inside. So with that one, you can be prophesying? Yeah. Inside this pot, there are rings. The rings are up to seven inside. These rings, they are up to seven inside this pot. Now the function of this ring, if I'm having service and I want to do deliverance for people to manifest, I wear the ring. It's either I wear the ring or the ring will be inside of me, it must be connected to my body. And if this ring is in my hand, if I lay hands on anybody, you must go down. Be sure, be sure. Go ahead. Now, this, this ring also, if this ring is in my hand, even if the person is not in winch, if I want you to confess winch with this ring, you will confess winch. <laughs> Go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. Now, this, this carries must remain in this spot. If I want to do service, it's either I put this carries inside my pocket or I put it inside a small cup with water or drink. And the drink must be alcoholic drink, Lord, or the spirit drink. I drink it. So anything I say, that is what you must do. Now, the function of this pot also is if I want to do invocation work, like commanding work, if I want to command live snake, now I say, Madam, there is snake in your bag, and I want the snake to come out in that bag, the snake must be in this pot. And if the snake is inside, this cloth 
must cover the pot. And this pot will feed the pot with either a pigeon blood or a new baby blood. So most of the first, all the prophets that are prophesying, they have all these things. Yes. So now they run from here to scatter. One day with Sefru, one day here, one day so-so place, one day Lagos, one day Abuja, one day... I just wanted your eye to open. If I'm talking, look like I'm, uh, I am tying you. Oh, I'm, I'm not prophesying. Now they here to the Abbey. Now, this one, it is called Asher. Now, this Asher has two types. 